families, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Do you have a friend or relative that you are so close to that everyone says you act alike? I have twin cousins that look alike and sometimes act alike. The more time we spend with friends, the more alike we become. That's true of our friendship with Jesus too. The Bible point for today is, Jesus' friends live like him. In fact, Jesus talked about that very thing in today's Bible story. First, we will start with praise and worship. Then we will go into the Bible story. Afterwards, we are going to do an experiment with Miss Monique. Finally, I will come back to wrap it all up. But before we do anything else, let's pray. God, we thank you for everyone here. We ask for your love, peace, and joy to fill each home as we learn that Jesus wants us to live like him. In Jesus' name, amen.
Hello, my fellow football fans. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. How about those Chiefs? Before we begin, let's do something a little different. I want you to call your adult like you're calling your favorite sports team. Ready? I want you to say, Let's go adults! Let's go adults! Let's go adults! Adults, are you with us? In today's part of Sermon on the Mount, Jesus talks about trees. Before we find out what he said, let's play a game. In this game, I want you and your adult to guess what kind of tree, fruit tree is on the screen. Are you ready? Here's the first one. What tree is that? If you guess cherry tree, you are correct. All right, next one. Here it is. If you guessed orange tree, you are correct. All right, last one. If you guessed banana tree, you are correct. Was it easy to find out what kind of tree it was? What if I told you to guess a tree without the fruit on it? Then you never know. But when you can see the fruit on the tree, you knew exactly what it was. That's kind of what like Jesus said as he was explaining how his friends live like him. The Bible says this, you can tell each tree by its fruit. Let's become Jesus' trees and think about what kind of fruit we'd grow. When we do good things like being obedient or helping our siblings, we can grow good fruit. When we do bad things like lying or stealing, we can grow bad fruit. What kind of fruit would you like to grow? Turn and talk to your adult. While you were talking, I was thinking, Jesus' friends live like him. The way we can live like him is by growing good fruit like Jesus did. Jesus helped feed thousands of people. Jesus provides for us. Jesus helped a servant who was sick. Jesus heals us. Jesus died on the cross for us. Jesus forgives us. All these things show us how to live like Jesus, and Jesus' friends live like him. An example of this is like an apple tree. It doesn't have to try really hard to grow apples. Apples just grow because that's the kind of tree it is. And for us, growing fruit isn't about trying really hard to be good. It's about being Jesus' friends. Jesus' friends live like him. In fact, Jesus talked about that too. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain joined to me and I to you, you will bear a lot of fruit. You can't do anything without me. Jesus tells us when we are his friends, we grow good fruit by living like him. It's like being with your adult. When you talk to your adult, when you laugh with your adult, and when you listen to your adult, you start to do things like them. Jesus' friends live like him. Adults, take this next minute to talk further with your kids about how Jesus' friends live like him. Some questions will come up on the screen to help further this discussion. We will be right back. Have you ever had a friend that everyone said that you two act alike? The more time we spend with Jesus, the more we act like him. We also learn more about him. Jesus' friends live like him. Let us see how Miss Monique's experiment relates to that. Today, we're talking about how Jesus' friends live like him. Jesus gave the perfect example of how to live. When we're friends with Jesus, it's natural to want to live like him. Jesus influences how we live. Let's take a closer look at what influence means with this cool, water-changing experiment. 
Here I have some colored coffee filters, cups, markers, and a pitcher of water. I'm going to pour the water into the cups. The water will go through the colored coffee filter. You know, what do you think will happen to the water once it passes through? Hmm, do you think it will change color? Turn and talk with your adult on what you think will happen. Let's pour the water. Were your predictions right? Hmm, it seems like the water couldn't help but take on the color of the marker as it passed through the coffee filters. That's because the ink from the markers is water-based. So the dyes in the ink are already in water and flow easily into other water when it's added. When I poured clear water from the pitcher over the colored coffee filter, it changed the water by adding color. Or you could say the water was influenced, even if it was just a little bit. People in our lives, like our friends, have influence over us too. We can't really help that the people we're around the most influence the way we think and act. Friends can influence us in good ways or bad, but our best influencer ever is Jesus. Jesus' friends live like him. That was a changing experiment. Get it? Because the color changed the water? Oh well. Jesus gave us an example to follow when he lived here on earth. We can look at him and follow his example. We can spend time reading about how he lived and talking with him. This week, let's follow Jesus's example and be like him. Family, it was so good to see you. We invite you to stay connected with us via our Instagram and Facebook pages. You can find us by searching at KLCC Kids. If you have already downloaded our Kingdom Life app, be sure to turn on Kingdom Kids notifications. And if you have not downloaded it, do it today. It's available in both the Apple and Google Play stores. Thank you so much for joining us and cannot wait until next time. Enjoy the game!